guys hi hi welcome back to my channel my name is Jessica and I'm your host on this channel just signatures now today's tutorial is one that gives me so much joy because I got a whole lot of compliments rocking this particular jumpsuit now this is a picture of the jumpsuit on your screen my god this jumpsuit is fabulous like it's really simple easy to make easy to wear but the compliment that you get associated with this jumpsuit it's one of a kind and it's something that encourages um either a tailor or a creative director to continue doing what they do now this jumpsuit it's a um spaghetti strap wrapped um jumpsuit like the the front of the top is wrapped but the back is the normal basic um, bodies. So if you really want to see how I made this jumpsuit, let, then you come along with me. One um, thing I want to tell you, you don't have to do it the way I did it, like with my part, uh, my um, fabric choice and all. It doesn't mean it will not come out nice, but if you can do it, my God, do it because it really looks nice. And yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of myself for recreating this look it's not my design i recreated the look and uh it really looks good i'll try and put the original design on the screen for you to see and see that ah, ah i really dug into it and i did something about it now guys the pants tutorial of those jumpsuits i did not do a detailed tutorial but i did enough for someone who already has um, an idea or also a beginner would just need an idea of how to draft a pant pattern now on this channel I do not have a pant block yet but if you want me to do that a well detailed tutorial of how to make a trouser or pants whatever you call it then please leave that in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to do that for you you know I got you now I have your back so without further ado without further rambling let's get into this video and see how I created this fabulous jumpsuit. I'm just overly dramatic. Let's go to the workstation. So guys, after getting the basic measurements that we need for the pants, waist 37, hip 43, size 26. The reason why I didn't make and um, put any measurements for the crouch is because I didn't want to go into detail how to get your crouch measurement because there are several ways to get it. Here, I just did the most basic thing that you can do, which is dividing your hip measurement by four when you divide your hip measurement by four whatever you get you use it as your crouch measure as your crouch length so guys after doing that after doing that particular measure okay let me just say how to another method of getting your crouch measurement you can tell your client to sit on a, a flat surface and you measure from the waist down to the point where this um, bum meets the chair so because this is not a detailed tutorial of how to make a pant trouser I will not be going deep into that so if you want me to make a video of how to make a pant trouser then let me know in the comment section now the lines you see me drawing on your screen the hip line which is your waist to hip measurement which mine is nine inches then waist to crouch which i already said hip measurement divided by four and you can decide to add half an inch depends on how much bump the person has and then your knee measurement waist to knee measurement then the full length of your pants now on the hip um, line we'll take a hip measurement divided by four and add two inches allowance you can decide to add one inch allowance but because this pants is not a fitted pants 
I decided to put two inches allowance because yeah it's not fitted like I said while on the crouch measurement you divide your tie measurement that is your lap measurement by two the measurement you cut when you measured your tie you divide it by two not by four your hip you divide by four while your tie or your crouch measurement you divide by two so now after doing that you add your seam allowance whatever amount of seam allowance you choose to put it's up to you you add the seam allowance and then you just decide to draw a straight line meeting the waist measurement here i'm just making sure there are no sharp edges like i always say try to avoid sharp edges now after doing that i want to get our waist measurement you take your waist measurement from that straight line that you drew up to the front of your uh, pattern as you can see me doing after doing that you add one inch allowance for that and then you can add one inch allowance for seam allowance as well then you connect to your hip line measurement after doing that you just rule a straight line down to the end of the paper because this is a free pant now i'm just taking the measurements of my knee from that line that we drew so that we can have that curve that um a basic pants have in front of it now because it's a straight pants you can decide not to put that curve that i just did. you can decide to just draw it straight down but i still wanted it to have just a little bit of fit around the knee that was why i did that if you just want it to be full, full on palazzo you don't need that uh, knee curve that i did then after doing all of that shenanigans you just put in your dart your norm the way we do our darts normally you put in your dart um you're taking the dart measurement other half an inch that is with the measurement you left on the waistline initially you know on the waistline we added one inch for that so we're taking one inch away for that if you added um two inches for that make sure you take in that two inches so that it will not be big around the waistline of your client then on that center front line i just went down by one inch and gave it a, you can decide to make it a straight line or a curved line it depends on you and the bodies of your, the body of your clients so now what I'm just doing here is giving you a brief explanation of what to do for the back bodies you go on the crotch line you just go out by about two inches or more I think the least should be two inches and then from the waistline you measure one inch down and then connect to that two inches line that you um extended from the crouch that two inches you extended from the crouch just connect it to that one inch straight line but this back patch you know you'll be doing it on a different pattern paper like i said this is not a detailed tutorial so i'm not giving you full on details i just want you to know what uh, you can do to achieve this so after doing that just connect to the m of the front and that is it so you can see this is a finished uh, pants block that I already have drafted and you can see how I did it if you don't understand or you want me to make a detailed video I'm saying it again please leave that in the comment section down below so now what we want to do is the upper bodies because we've already gotten the down part which is the pants part after getting the pants part, we need to get the upper part because, of course, it is a jumpsuit. Now, I'm just going through my um, basic bodies measurements, like what you normally do if you're doing a basic bodies. If you do not understand how I got to all of this, then please. Uh, check my video on how i made a basic bodies 
Arjun. Now uh, take your remaining shoulder uh, measurement and divide it by two. When you divide it by two, you just give it a, a mark, a mark in there, and then come down by whatever uh, allowance you want, like whatever whatever length you want the strap to be, is what you come down by. You can come down by four inches, you can come down by six inches, you can come down by seven inches, depending on how low you want it to be, and then you connect it to the arm O measurement. I hope that was clear. Let me go again. You take your the remaining part of your shoulder measurement where you didn't cut a neckline. You divide it by two. When you divide it by two, you draw out. Uh, you draw down a straight line. On it depends on how long you want your strap to be or where you want it to stop. And that's it. Then you extend the front of. Uh, your pattern that is if you're working with a half scale pattern so i'll advise you work with a full scale pattern if you're a beginner but half scale is also good you just extend it after extending it you come up by about three inches or two inches or one inch depend on how much wrap you want on your body so after doing that, I'm just squaring up the lines, which I'll show you a better way to do it. You see what I said? If you're working with a full scale measurement, it will be way easier than the first method I was about to show you. So the next thing to do, from that point where you measured your strap, you draw it down to that three inches that we came up by. Just look at the screen and see what I'm doing and you'll understand. You just connect it to that three inches either with a straight line or with a curved line depends on how you want the front part to look like then after doing that I'm adding um, half an inch seam allowance because of the joining but later on I think I took out that half an inch allowance on this center front line because I wanted it a little bit low but if you want it to cover up your body cover up your boobs and all then you need to put this half inch allowance on the side you already have a allowance on the side because of the basic bodies we did um, allowance on the side so now you cut it off and your front um, bodice is ready the next thing to do okay it's not ready because we still need to put our darts but the dart is optional you can decide to put it you can decide not to put it but yeah i decided to you know put the dart and then i'm measuring from my center front whatever my bust pan measurement is and then i came down by one and a half inch from the bust line for the dart because i didn't want it um, going up to the bust line itself it's not going to look flattering at all if you do that so you basically do your dart I have so many videos showing you how you can do that so if you don't understand you can go and watch any of my previous videos and you see that so after doing that I just um, use that front to cut the back Cut the back part you can see I folded it back into two and I added my um, back seam allowance my zip allowance rather and then I just making sure the arm o matches each other because that's the basic thing about the back let the front and back arm o match each other then the neckline for the back the neck design for the back you can decide how low or how high you can uh, you want it to be so after doing that, I'm also adding my seam allowance like I did for the first one and uh, for the front part rather. So now the front and back 
pattern is ready next thing to do is to cut it out on your fabric either you're mixing your fabric your mix matching your fabric or you're using the same fabric it doesn't really matter so just make sure you cut it facing the right part now you can see after cutting it you can see it's already looking like the um, John suit you have on your thumbnail so you can see you this is how you place it on each other for the front part to sew you place it on each other like this to form one piece and sew then the back part will be two pieces the back part will be two pieces then I'm also cutting out the pants block because it's a jumpsuit like I said earlier you need both the uh, top part and the pants part so now I just want to attach my strap to the bodies the thing you do you make your strap like you normally make any strap and then you attach it with your lining if you're not lining it you attach it and just clean off the edges so that's basically what you do and then after attaching the straps you attach the front to the back the back to the front either way just make sure you attach them together if you're lining uh, the front and back also you um, line them and then join them together if you want to do an inseam finishing you do that whichever works for you you do that and then make sure you have a clean finish notch everywhere that you need to notch notch all the places that need notching and then you turn them inside out you can see me now i'm joining the front to the back after doing that because i wanted a waist band i just went ahead to put a waist band on my jumpsuit so if you want a waistband yes this is a time to put the waistband if you do not want a waistband it's fine but i like putting i like putting waistband on most of my dresses or jumpsuits that have half length because it just helps my it helps me hide my tummy so after doing that you join the upper part to the pant part and we are done like we are done guys we're done with this tutorial so guys thank you for stopping by thank you for watching if you want a detailed tutorial on how to make a pant let me know in the comment section i can't run Girl about a 10 I should fuck her in the best